Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie Mager, Sports Information Director at the University of St. Francis. And today, joining me is junior cross country and track and field runner, Alex Ebettino. Last year, and again this year, Alex received NAIA A status while also earning NAIA All-American honors while breaking one school record after another. In addition, she also finished first at the Crossroads League Championship this past November. Alex, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for being here today as well. Um, let's start a little bit um, kind of about your roots. Uh, tell me a little bit about where you grew up and uh, went to high school. So I grew up in New Haven, but spent most of my time in Fort Wayne because it was kind of an obscure part of New Haven, really close to Fort Wayne. But I went to Bishop Dwanger, and I got started running when I was in probably fifth grade with track and then in like my seventh grade year my mom just dropped me off at a cross-country practice and she was like okay you're doing this now and I was like all right fair enough <laughs> you just kind of took it and ran with it huh yep did you find any um did you find like doing long uh, runs as opposed to short sprints did you find that you liked one better than the other I would say that I like long distance better just because it's what I'm better at. I'm not exactly great at sprinting, but I do really enjoy sprinting and doing shorter distance workouts and sometimes even races because it's just a different feel on my body. Different muscles are being worked and it just, I like to feel myself get up to that max speed that I don't normally hit in a 5K or a 10K. You mentioned workouts. Can you tell me a little bit about um, kind of your workout routines, your exercise routines, um, even what you do like over the summer months? So during the week we start on Sundays with a long run, like mine are 10 or 11 miles. And then on Monday we do an easy run. Tuesday we have a workout. Wednesday, Thursday are easy runs. And Friday or Saturday is either a workout or a race or an easy run. And in the summer we cut down to really low mileage to just take a break from the season, let our bodies recover, and then we start building up with a little bit of base mileage for a couple weeks, and then we start adding in workouts again on Tuesday and Friday, but they're pretty simple, easier workouts just to let our bodies ease back into running. Very nice. I'd seen you guys out there running before along, uh, just along the train tracks. Um, where does that trail go? Like, where uh, does the, uh, what trail do you guys take when uh, you're doing like those long runs? Out of curiosity. So, long runs used to be just kind of on our own. So I would run anywhere I wanted in Fort Wayne. Really, I'd run a lot at Krieger or Shove Park. But when we do run long runs together, and they're mandatory now on Sundays, we start at school and we run past the train tracks, and sometimes we'll head towards the cemetery or to towpath. It goes pretty far to like Canterbury. Very nice. So uh, my next question is, is when uh, you decided to come over to St. Francis and continue uh, your career as a runner at the collegiate level, did you have uh, one or two uh, primary goals uh, that you wanted to achieve while coming here? I didn't have a ton of goals when I first came here because um, in high school, I was an all right runner, but I wasn't exactly like national qualifying level runner. I would never have made it to state on my own. So when I came, I just kind of wanted to stay in shape, run a little bit. But as I started like working out with the team more and running more with them, um, I started to show a lot more potential, like more of what I had. And by the time season started, I told Corey that I wanted to qualify for nationals. And he kind of laughed it off a little bit. He was like, Oh, maybe next year, and I did it freshman year. Without let up. Yeah. And uh, achieving that, that had to have been pr uh, one of your proudest life achievements, uh, certainly uh, during college, would you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask, uh, to tell me a little bit more about, um, you know, your coaches over the years and how, uh, explain to me a little bit of how they've instilled confidence in you, how, um, you know, and how that's grown uh, since being here. That's a, that's a tough one. In high school, my coaches didn't 
I mean, they were they were all right coaches, but I didn't have a ton of confidence in high school. And then coming into college, it started to grow a little bit. But the odd thing is, the more that I do well in races and prove myself, the more nervous I seem to get before every race. I, I'm not a, afraid to talk about it that much, but I struggle really bad with my confidence and just believing in myself before races. So Corey has me do little things every day to make sure I believe in myself because he believes in me and there's no reason for me not to believe in myself. So I have a whiteboard above my bed that I write down um, whenever I think of something. It used to be nightly, but I started running out of things to say, but I just write down why I should believe in myself. So I write down you know, how many times I've qualified for nationals already, what times I've already run, how many workouts I've proven myself in. When you first got All-American Honors last year, you, you, you mentioned the more you uh, do well, the more nervous you seem to get. When you got All-American Honors last year, um, A, how did you initially react? And uh, I wanted to follow that up with, uh, does that, do you think that increases your intensity to want to continue to reach that level and even exceed that level? Yeah, so the first time I got All-American Honors was indoor. It should have been cross country, but with COVID things got flip-flopped. So right. it was indoor nationals and I placed a lot higher than I thought I was going to. So it really was really exciting and shocking to me. I didn't realize that I was third place level. <laughs> and um, I think it does really inspire me to want to go bigger. Over the summer I texted Corey and I told him that like, if I improve this much every year for the next seven, eight years, I could have a shot at qualifying for the Olympic trials. It's a long shot because a lot of those runners were good in high school. They were good in, they were really good in college, went to D1 schools. They're running all American level at D1 schools. So it's a long shot, but I think if I can improve just a little bit every year, I think I have it. That is quite the dream to, uh, to go after. So, my next question was going to be is, do you have any plans or intentions after graduation, whether that is with running or um, with, uh, with studying? I know that you're, uh, you're majoring in art education and pre-art therapy, mm -hmm. but would you say that uh, wanting to uh, go to the Olympics, is that your number one uh, goal outside of anything in life? Probably not quite the Olympics, but the trials mm -hmm. is probably my biggest goal. I have other like little goals of becoming an art teacher at the high school level, but that's not nearly as lofty as mm -hmm. <laughs> going to the trials. I got you there. If there were one or two major takeaways that uh, I think that you've gotten, whether it's with uh, the classroom or whether it's out there running, two takeaways, er, if there's one or two takeaways about being a college athlete, for somebody that's wanting to be in a, a college athlete someday at that level, um, what would you say to them? Definitely the biggest one is to find ways to get enough sleep, whether it's taking naps in the middle of the day or putting stuff aside at night to get a full eight hours because I know with me at least, if I don't get my eight hours of sleep, my day just isn't going to go right from being in the classroom to going to practice if I need my sleep. <laughs> Now we got uh, Cedarville coming up tomorrow. He's had a big one at uh, Wesleyan uh, last week. First place finish there and number uh, and number three in the NAIA. You trying to get up to n uh, number one maybe by uh, the end of next year as a senior? Yeah, I would definitely like to win one of the nationals at least. Hopefully I can get all three. Awesome. Well, Alex, Safe travels out to Cedarville tomorrow, and good luck to you the rest of the season, and thank you so much for your time here today. Thank you. That was Alex Ebettino, All-American cross country and track and field runner with the St. Francis Cougars, on their way to Cedarville tomorrow to continue their season. I want to thank you all for watching this today. I encourage you all to stay updated on stfranciscougars.com with all updates and recaps with USF Athletics. And until next time, I'm Charlie Mager. Thank you for joining us.